Welcome to the section policy. In the previous video, we looked at badges and how they work, what they are within Virilize Operations Manager. In this section, we're going to cover off what roles policy plays within Virilize Operations Manager. In this section, we're going to look at specifically what are policies, where do they fit, what are base override policies, what are the analyst settings within policies, what's the workload automation, metric collection, alert configuration, and applying policies. All these areas are different areas within a single policy that we need to configure, or not configure, as the case may be. The first video is what are policies, and in this video, we're going to take a look at what roles policies play within VROPS, where they are located, and how to tell what policy is applied to a particular object. So, what are policies? Before we dive into that, let's have a look at where they're located within the application. So, first off, we log in to our Virilize Operations Manager, and we go to the Administration section. On the Administration section, it would be the fourth down with Policies. Now, we can see straight away that we can see we've got Active in a library, so I can see we've got one Active here, but you could have many Active, Active on different clusters, on different objects. So policies are assigned to groups of objects, they're assigned to a specific object only, uh, they can be assigned globally as a default. So when a new object gets added in, that's what it grabs. We can see here that we've got the D there, which means it's default, which means that everything within this current system will be getting this uh, vSphere solution default policy. Now that specific one has been modified in this instance, but is also one that is created uh, when you first install. Virilize Operations Manager. Now we can select this and we can see the different settings uh, within the policy. We can see how many are locally defined, so set within that policy itself, and we can browse through it all. And we can also have a look at the complete settings, included all the inherited policies and metrics. So you can see there, that's quite a lot that is inherited. And we can have a look at our library. So within here we can create, we can edit, we can set the defaults, we can delete policies, and we can see that there's certain policies that have been updated, and we can also have the hierarchical view of what policies are sitting under other policies. So policies at their core is what drives the Realize Operations Manager. They tell it what metrics to collect, they tell it what thresholds capacity management needs to be, they tell it what analytics capacity management needs to take, it tells it what alerting it should do. It's really everything that VROPS is, in a nutshell, and we can define these on individual objects. So how do we tell that these policies are applied to an object, or what policy is applied to a particular object? Well, that's quite easy. We can either go into a policy, and we can see, I'll choose one that's been applied here, which is our default policy. And I can select related objects. And we can see all the affected objects. It hasn't been assigned to a group, but we can see that it's affected 473 objects down the corner here. Or, if we were browsing, so we can go and browse a particular object. I can go to vSphere here. I can select a cluster. Up the top here, that's what policy is applied to that particular cluster. So I can then click on this, and it'll actually take me to that policy. Or doesn't mean other objects will have the same policy. In this case, they do. But that's the easiest and quickest way to tell is what a policy is being applied to a particular object you're looking at. Now this is good when you're starting to play with groups and adding different policies to different child objects, making sure that everything's in the right pro policy. We can see that here. And that's really it for policies and what they are and what role they play. Just to recap, they are the core of Virilize Operations Manager. They drive what metrics are collected, what alerts are enabled or disabled, what symptoms are enabled or disabled, what threshold the badges need to adhere to, how capacity management functions, 
that's all within the policies, and because we can do it globally at an individual level, it gives a lot of control over what we want to see and what we want to alert on. We don't have to worry about getting garbage alerts from objects we know we're going to get those alerts from. We can set up a custom policy for those objects and go, right, disable these alerts on these because I know they're always going to happen. It gives us the flexibility to be able to do that. In this video, we talked about what policies were and what role they played and what value they add to Viralize Operations Manager.